welcome back to our latest video on the Decision Desk HQ YouTube channel. I'm Liberty Vitter, the senior data scientist here at DDHQ. And in today's update for the 2024 Decision Desk HQ polling average, we're going to explore the potential landscape of the 2024 Electoral College map, drawing on the most recent polling data as of this week from Decision Desk HQ and The Hill. So for a much more in-depth comparison, be sure to review our previous analysis available on our channel and also make sure to visit elections2024.thehill.com for the most up-to-date information accessible via the first link in this video's description below. It's super important to note that a state must have at least five qualifying polls to be included in our polling average and as of this update we have new figures for seven of the pivotal pivotal, I can't say that word today, battleground states. Um, Nevada, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio, North Carolina, and Georgia. So these states are our focus today, while the others have already been placed into race rating categories based upon the results of the 2020 presidential election. So that will be updated as time goes along. Safe states were decided by more than 12 points in either direction, likely states by 7 to 12 points, and then lean states are below 7 points. So as you can see here, with the 12 states where there have been enough polls surveyed to create a polling average labeled as toss-ups, the Democrats lead Republicans 174 to 166 in the electoral count, and of course, 270 electoral votes are required to win the presidency presidential election. So let's jump right in. Starting with California, Biden's lead is stable, no shocker, at 18.7% with no new polls since early January. This secures California's 54 electoral votes, the highest of any state, firmly in the Democratic column, significantly bolstering their electoral count. Moving just to the east in Nevada, 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 whatever, so however you pronounce it, a battleground in 2024, Democrats won it by just two and a half points in both the 2016 and the 2020 elections, and a lot has changed there since COVID. Republicans have been targeting this race over the last decade as a potential flip due to its favorable electoral trends for the party in recent years. And in our DDHQ polling average, we see a shift in favor of Trump over Biden. Previously, Trump led by just 3.2% in our average, and now our our updated average based upon 16 polls shows Trump leading by 5.6%, giving Trump a total of 47.7% and Biden at only 42.1%. The poll that really moved this average was a Bloomberg Morning Consult poll surveying 457 registered voters, and it had Trump ahead by eight points. Nevada's status remains as a lean Republican state, though, for now, but it's definitely trending in the direction of likely Republican status. So just to the southeast of Nevada, we have another battleground in Arizona, which Biden carried in 2020 by only 0.3, that is 0.3%. We have one new poll in Nevada from JL Partners on behalf of the Cary Lake for Senate campaign, which means you take it for what it is. It showed Trump ahead of Biden by four points, lower than the previous average of 6.3%, and dropping the overall average down to Trump plus 4.6 based upon 23 polls in total. But Arizona remains in the lean Republican column, though. Shifting over to the Midwest, Iowa and Ohio, previously battlegrounds and now absolute strongholds for Trump, they continue to lean heavily in his favor. In Iowa, Trump's lead has remained exactly the same at 10.9% based upon seven polls. And in Ohio, the average year has once again ticked up in favor of Trump, his lead now at 11.4%, up from 107 last week, so definitely trending upwards. A total of eight polls have surveyed the race in Ohio, with the two most recent ones showing Trump ahead by 11 points. Both states obviously remain likely Republican on the electoral map. 
Two other states that we can look at in tandem with each other are Michigan and Wisconsin. They both went to Trump by less than a point in 2016 and then flipped back in favor of Biden by very, very narrow margins in 2020. In fact, Wisconsin and Michigan have voted for the same candidate as one another in each of the last eight presidential elections since 1988. Prior to 2016, they had voted Democrat in every one of those elections. But as Republicans have made gains among white working class voters in the Midwest, they've become a lot more friendly to GOP presidential candidates, namely and specifically Trump over the last decade. They'll once again be critical battlegrounds in 2024. Biden's actually headed there uh, this week. Um, we finally have some movement in Wisconsin. Who knows if it's because of that, as we have finally collected our first polls in this race since last November. The first from Bloomberg Morning Consult had Trump leading Biden by 5%, while the second from Fox News showed a dead heat tie with both candidates drawing 47% of support. These polls shifted the average in favor of Trump, going from Republican plus 0.7 to Republican plus 2.5. Now based on 13 polls, a significant jump. The state of Michigan has also ticked back up half a point in favor of Trump to 3.4% as the latest Bloomberg Morning Consult poll in the race shows him leading by five points among 703 registered voters. Trump's lead was 3.1% last week, so regardless, it remains lean Republican, as does Wisconsin. So we have five states remaining with 79 electoral votes up for grabs. The race to 270 is really close right now, with Republicans taking a 231 to 228 lead for now as we head to New Hampshire, where Biden was victorious by seven and a half points in 2020. So his lead remains at 6.2% based upon eight polls. No new polls have been added to this average since last week. It remains lean Democrat. The same goes down in Virginia. Biden's lead has remained the same at 4.1% based upon 10 polls. The president carried the Commonwealth's 13 electoral votes by just over 10 points in 2020, the largest margin for a Democrat in this formerly reliable Republican state since 1944. Democrats have now won four straight presidential elections in Virginia, both of the last two by at least five points. North Carolina is next, a perennial purple state that has consistently backed Republicans by very narrow margins in recent election cycles. Trump won by three and a half points in 2016 and one and a half points in 2020. It's a state that Republicans will absolutely need to hold in 2024 if they're going to take back the White House. And it may be Trump's most impressive state at the moment as he leads Biden by double digits. I mean, that's pretty crazy, right? The former Republican president leads Joe Biden, the incumbent president, by 10.2% right now in the Tar Heel state, with 48.2% to the Democrats 38%. The Tar Heel state has been decided by less than five percentage points in each of the last four elections and six of the last eight. So this morning came via the Bloomberg Morning Consult poll that we've seen in other states. Here it shows Trump ahead by 10 points, double digits. North Carolina remains firmly in the likely Republican column, though it's teetering closer and closer to a safe Republican territory here. Georgia and Florida remain, taking a look at the latest DDHQ polling average in Georgia. Two new polls were added to the forecast, both showing Trump ahead of Biden by eight points. One from the Bloomberg Morning Consult, the other from Fox News. So as Trump's lead was 7.6% prior to these new polls, there wasn't much movement here, relatively speaking. The former president's overall lead in our average is 8.3% now based upon 18 polls. So between Georgia and North Carolina, Trump is polling extraordinarily well here in the Southeast that Democrats were hoping would trend in their direction as the demographic profiles of both states largely mirror the coalitions the Democratic Party is looking to appeal to over the coming decade, which is super interesting. In Florida, meanwhile, we haven't seen a new poll here since late November. 
November of 2023, so the average remains Trump plus 9.1. Both states, Georgia and Florida, will therefore remain in the likely Republican category. So that wraps up these race ratings based upon the DDHQ and the Hill polling averages, which you can check out at elections2024.thehill.com. Republicans continue to lead in the race to 270 with 293 electoral votes to Democrats 245. So a definitive lead. Um, please feel free to leave your thoughts, comments, and reactions in the comment section below. But that is all for this Decision Desk HQ video this week. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you did indeed like it. And subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already. Also, please check out more content from our channel here. And we will catch you next time.